A very frequently asked question is the comparison of FrameMaker and Microsoft Word. Technical writers the world over always wonder whether they should use FrameMaker or Word. Both are used, of course, with Word a much larger user base. But FrameMaker is, has so many features not shared by Word that it's really worth a look. And here is what Adobe did in this 12-page brief but very comprehensive white paper. They compared FrameMaker 2019 with Microsoft Word 2016, feature by feature. I highly recommend you get a copy of this uh, white paper and go through it and decide for yourself which one makes more sense for your projects and for your business. The white paper starts with just a general introduction. It starts with explaining that FrameMaker and Word are not competitors uh, because they are designed with different tasks, different functions and missions in mind. And uh, they grew up with different customer needs I use both of them, uh, especially for short projects. I use Word, but for longer documents, involved documents, I always used uh, FrameMaker for over 20 years now. The white paper continues with this very useful section to decide whether you have outgrown Microsoft Word or not. For example, uh, the following are some symptoms. If your staff spends an excessive amount of time waiting for large files to open or print, uh, as we all know, once the uh, no page number goes up, Microsoft Word starts to experience some uh, performance issues, especially if you have a lot of tables, images, etc. And then comes structured editing and content reuse. And if you are doing a single source publishing and or using the structured version of the frame maker, which is built into the same software package. So you can use it both as unstructured and structured frame maker. It has a very fine XML engine built right into the application itself. This is followed by selective feature comparison. Feature by feature, there are two columns. The first one explains how FrameMaker handles this, and the other column is reserved for how Word handles this. It starts from master pages, a multiple column layout, page headers, footers, side heads. As you can see visually, uh, FrameMaker's way of handling it is more involved, more in-depth and uh, offering a lot more features in general than Microsoft Word. Now, uh, this is followed by book building features, catalogs, paragraphs, char character formatting, feature by feature, uh, graphics, multimedia, Anchored, anchored frames and equations and long document support. This is very important uh, for technical writers especially. And I, I have written many documents over 100 pages, uh, 500 pages. My longest document currently that I, I, I update is 1900 pages so that's that's the kind of strength frame maker comes with at the very end there is this very interesting section on multiple channel publishing did you know that for example you can publish straight from inside frame maker to amazon kindle format and you can publish your frame maker book as a kindle book you can publish it as web help. You can publish it as CHUM, CHM, 
Microsoft uh, HTML help file and quite a few others. So if you would like to have a real good idea how Word compares with FrameMaker and if your job can be handled better by one or the other, I highly recommend you get hold of this white paper, FrameMaker 2019 and Microsoft Word 2016 Future Comparison. Take good care and I see you in the next video.